Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly tarot forecast for the Numinous week beginning August the 11th. I'm Lindsay Mack and the card that I've pulled for us this week is the lovers. So um, we are about to journey into a Mercury retrograde. Mercury is associated with Gemini and the lovers card is ruled by Gemini. So even though we're in big time, huge Leo fire right now, it's going to start um, kind of... Uh, Elevating is not the, not quite the right word or quite the right frequency, but there's going to start being an element of air to the fire. And we know when we add oxygen to fire, it can tend to be a bit more combustible. So I have a lot to say about that, which I will get into in a moment. But first, I'm going to start with the core kind of medicine of the lovers for us this week. Be soft. Be sweet open up the heart open up the heart to yourself open up the heart to sources of kindness and goodness and sweetness in an external way gemini is all about the give and take of receptivity and direct giving so gemini's assimilate what's around them and then offer it back to the external realm through their point of view and because Gemini's have kind of like um, holographic vision kind of like how flies see the world through so many lenses and points of view in the eyes um, the ways that we can receive love in the lover's card are multitudinous from a child from a flower from a lover from ourselves from someone that we're not even romantically involved with and yet strikes something in us and it's all about looking for evidence of it outside in order to bring it in there are lots of cards in the tarot about kind of the love coming from within and then getting brought out and that kind of dichotomy that back and forth is in this card absolutely but it really starts with looking around at all of the mirrors externally that reflect an element of love back to us. Our worthiness, our deservability, our beauty in a sunrise or in the eyes of our lover or in the face of our parents or our child does not matter. Um, the reason that this medicine is so important right now to really sink into the bones of love and our deservability is to put it quite simply because the energy is getting very intense and we need to stay rooted in something intense is not bad it's not a problem there's a lot that's coming up there's a lot that's ready to be seen there's a lot veil is still very thin and really it's in alignment for everyone to be very deeply kind of um, within, to go within, to be less external, more internal. It's sort of a hermetic time. And so I love the lovers here because it really makes it clear, at least to me, that we can go within and we can still be receptive and open to evidence of love. And that's really, really important. It's cliched perhaps but these are very intense times and very extreme times and very unique times for any of us and we must be able to have a cord of love and openness somewhere and the card of the week this week being the lovers is our opportunity it's a general one. It's a more esoteric one than it is an exact one. We're going to be in some more esoteric cards in the coming weeks, and that's okay. You know, that's perfect, it's the times. But the invitation is to go deeply and to root down into the center and into, um, again, these reminders of our worthiness and our deservability and our lovability so that we have an anchor in the times ahead, in Mercury retrograde, in the eclipses, or in the um, eclipse in a week or so. Um, very, very important. So 
the lover's card is all about receiving love and being available to love. It's not necessarily about romantic love, but it could be for you. So really take this week to look at what is my relationship mentally and in my communication to pushing away love through my thoughts, through my beliefs, through my words, or bringing it closer to me through my thoughts, through my beliefs, and through my words. Very important to look at so we can get clear on our patterning and open up to greater love and compassion and connection. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.